This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, Course D, Lesson 9, Fancy Shapes Using Nested Loops, Part 9. Let's see what we got. Using what you learned in the last couple of puzzles, build this image from the beginning. Ooh, a challenge. Hmm. Each hexagon has 50 pixel sides and 60 degree turns. Okay. Oh, look at this. And they want us to only use one move forward. This is going to be tricky. Let's start by, well, using that move forward. 50 pixel sides, all right? 50 and a 60 degree turn. And it looks like a turn to the left. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Now, we got one side. How can we do the rest of this without a move forward? We can with a repeat. Zoop. Boop. And remember what this pink block does. This repeat loop loops it loops every time. It repeats the code inside. So with six sides, if I put a six here, I'm going to go six times. The computer's going to say, move forward 50 pixels, turn left. Zoop. Move forward 50 pixels, turn left. And again. And again. Six times. Once it's run this all six times, it will drop below. And if there's any code down here, it will run that too. Let's see if I get a hexagon right now. Oh, we're off to a good start. All right, now what? But how many? Each hexagon. Okay. I guess we got to figure out. They're at least touching. So how many degrees? Well, they do have this turn right 45. Hmm. I wonder if it's 45, but I think I would have to turn left. Or would it be 60? All right. Let's try the 60 one. I'm not sure. I'm going to try 60. Let's see if it looks like I'll be able to draw the next hexagon. Well, that looks okay. Well, let's put the whole thing in a repeat and say twice and see where I draw. Because now I'm not going to draw one, right? This code draws one hexagon. If I put the whole thing in a repeat and make it a two, well, now this whole thing will... Draw two hexagons, I think. Ah, so my turn wasn't enough. Or I just turned in the wrong direction. Let's try their other one. They also have a right 45 right here. Let me test that. That's a definite no, too. <laughs> All right. So that, I went way off this way. Go back to left. Ah, uh, 120? It's going to be a bit of a guessing game. Hmm. That looks good. We're going to need to jump. So if I end here, what if I jump 50? Let's see what this does. <gasps> That's looking good. Let's see what 3 looks like. But uh we definitely have it. Let's set a random color up here. And how many do we need? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Let's see. Yes. Alright, so just to go over this, what this happened, what happens here is we're telling the computer, hey computer, run eight times everything inside. So the computer says, okay, drops down, picks a random color, hits this repeat six and says, okay, six times. All right, move forward once, turn left once, zoop, zoop, again, forward left, zoop, again, forward left, again, forward left. Once it's done that six times, it's drawn our hexagon, it drops below, we jump forward, we then turn right, hits the bottom of this loop, goes back to the top and says, okay, do this seven more times. And now we draw another hexagon where we're standing. 
and then hits the bottom and again and again and we got that awesome shape great let's uh keep going 